Hey guys, what is going on? This is LarkNock1 slash Jacobidoc, and welcome back to part 17 of my Let's Play of Civilization Beyond Earth. Last time, the Apostles rose, and we flooded the hills, and the Polystralians are probably going to get wrecked now. Um, in fact, let's move these Apostles up north, and laugh at their inability to do significant amounts of damage to kill them. While we're doing that, let's go ahead and construct a mine out here. And, hold on. Start this timer. Yes, let us construct this mine out here. And we did just get one more apostle out here, and I think the best location for him is probably stationed near Huanlai. Just in case the KPs get a little uppity. So, right now, the apostles are about to wreck face. Uh, we did just finish a trade convoy in Kuyan. So the question is, what would we like to build here? I'm thinking we build us some, either some weather controllers or some laser comm satellites, or maybe a little mix of both. Uh, right now, I'm thinking laser comm satellites over all of our science cities would be very nice. And we can probably start, uh, what do you call it? Researching hypercomputing, which will get us just that much closer to our affinity-related victory. The question is, will neural uploading get us to 13 supremacy, which is what we need, really, to build the Emancipation Gate. Okay, so we get 48 affinity in Supremacy there. And what do we need? We need less than 48 to get to 13, looks like. So I think it will be enough. So we may be able to start building our gate in just 28 turns, which is quite speedy. So this is what we expected, that they'd engage us with whatever they had, which is not going to be enough. These are apostles we're talking about. They are scary, scary, scary. And they they have friends right next to them, too. Worst case scenario, they hit this one a little low, and they don't have planes anymore, so we pull this one out. How'd they do? Okay, they focused all their efforts on one guy, and he's still in the green on health. We are eating some planes with our intercepting heralds. I love the smell of burning non-robots in the morning. That was bad, I'm sorry. But the point gets through. Apostles, don't screw with them. They're scary. They're the best frontline infantry, in my opinion, in the game, in hordes. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Hutama. Hutamer? What am I saying, Hutamer? That was uh, Jamatar Barre. Uh, nope. Won't do it. Sorry, we don't do the wars when we don't need to. So what the question is, we could ask this guy for open borders, and then we could actually walk in and murder. Um, or we could just take the long way through, which is what we're probably going to have to do. Um, ooh, more guys. I think we just kind of walk in. Take the long way around if we have to. We can pretty much just eat these guys right now. Ah, tasty. My favorite. Alright, let's see. How do the Heralds fare attacking units? Pretty, pretty well, but that said, I'd like to injure some of them first. For example, this guy, we can probably take him out. Maybe not even worth the bombing run, but ah well. Let's see if we can't get our guys in and probably just take Kesemptan. I'd like that for Axite, it would be nice. Uh, here, we're, I think we'll probably just burn New Hope down. Let's just move in. And the trader out from Tan. We'll go to Ganserig and give it some more bolts and food. Over here, we have a trader out that we haven't had in a while that we just built. This one, I'm going to say we're going to give bolts to Tiangong, because that's eventually where we plan on building a gate. Might just be nice to give Tiangong some bolts. Um, probably same idea here. I kind of want to start focusing a bunch of trade routes to Tiangong. Give it a lot of good old production. And the worker here is done, so he can come back down south and start building stuff where we need it. Um, yeah, looks good. Alright, so we did get our alloy found request. This one, it's I just always love this. Uh, plus two production from titanium mines really just makes them such such excellent sources of of, uh, of production. 
There are 10 bolts for tile right now. That is unbelievable. And we did finish two uh, things. Here was a trade convoy in it tin. And um, what do we want here? The Soma Distillery will give us something on the order of three health by the time it's done. Um, so that might be worth it. And I don't see very many other options. I guess we can get our laser comm stats up. That could be worth our time. And we get another trade convoy here. Um, Soma Distillery is definitely worth it here. It's... Yeah, four health. Full full worth. Let's go ahead and grab a summon distillery here. Hopefully we'll be healthy soon. And our science will pick up because of the healthy perks and whatnot. And I really want to lock in these new food tiles we just acquired. Because Kuyan needs to grow. He's of critical importance. Let's get this guy out here and maybe we can build some bio wells for an tin as well. Why not? And the pressure's on! Can they? Can they, can they? Stop me in my tracks. I don't think so. These apostles are scary, scary, scary. And honestly, if they do a little bit more damage, he'll just heal to full or become an expert. I don't know which is worse for them. Looks bad either way. If the planet didn't want to be tapped, then why is it made you got a free covert agent? And the Xenomalayum. Why is it made out of fuel? Just like that, all of our economic issues will just kind of poof away. Um, because suddenly we can build generators that are giving an obscene quantity of energy. Five energy. That's kind of nutty. And that doesn't even count certain upgrades that we could get for them. Like, we could, um, do we already get it? Mine improvements, farm improvements. I thought there was another front generators somewhere. Oh well. Well, might have been mistaken. Oops, I accidentally undid hypercomputing. Two more things to produce in our covert op here. We got another free covert op, and here he is no longer of complete use to us. So let's just reassign him back home. We'll go to Tiangong first and remove the uh, intrigue there. And then he will eventually just go back to giving us some good old uh, health, as all the other spies are. So in Tiangong, um, what is a good idea here? Um, as is, the Soma Distillery could give us two health, but there's not much else that's really worth our time. I guess we could build laser comms. We still have a couple laser comm stats left to build. Um, so our main science producers, let's just check, 51.6 in Tiangong, 39 in Kuyan, 31 in Inatin, 28 in Ganzerig, 35 in Huanlei. 25 in uh, Gangran there, and yeah, so it looks like our main producers are actually uh, Kuyin, Tiangong, and Gangren, oddly enough. Let's go ahead and launch, and we haven't even finished producing all the things we want to in Gangren, so we'll launch over the biggest one first, Tiangong. Looks good. And we will launch our next one over some other places. Okay, so... The battle over here continues, so we want to keep on blasting. That said, I'd like to just advance rather than blast, because we're pretty much just going to eat them. Um, yeah. This, that's pretty much it. We're going to eat them. Alive. So? I really wish we had open borders, but you know, we don't. We'll just eat them. I probably should have waited to get uh, the flanking bonus. Or at least the comrade like next to you bonus. We just kind of have to flood these guys in because we're not getting in open borders. Um, and if they come close to Ganser, we can just pull this army up because this army is scary looking, I'm sure. So why not move them up a little bit? We can heal them if we need to. They'll heal 20 out of turn, um, out of friendly territory. Just because we're cool like that. Um, Yep, keep on building me some bio whales. You know, what we could do is build a few generators. Those could be nice. Uh, I think we want to build a Soma Distiller here now. Unless the weather controller is a better option, which I'm going to do. Because there's some places that I like to give food that just don't have it. We could one-shot New Hope and take out three planes on top of a bunch of other stuff. So, I'm thinking that is the bestest idea.
Okay, uh, is it gonna happen anytime soon? Show me what I did? AKA burn the city down? And we didn't take it? What? Okay then. Um, I think we're fine. This, I don't see this guy dying. Considering how much damage they've been doing every turn, but... Kind of annoying, not gonna lie. Let's just slam into this guy. And all we can really do here is fortify. Hmm. That's not true. We can give an adjacency bonus to both of our frontliners. And this Herald here, what can he do? He can do some juicy bombing runs. Or he could do some interception runs. It's probably a smarter idea. Okay, so this trade route, um, let's just keep on giving Tiangong the most bolts that we can give it. And this is giving a big hefty chunk of science and, and energy to us, but do we really want to keep doing it? I don't think so. I think we want to turn things inwards at this point and get ready to build gates. Alrighty, this guy here finished the plantation so we can start on the next one. And this guy can just as easily go out here, and I'm going to have him build generators, actually. Alright, on this desert tile, we can build the Baiwa. And give Nina 10 some juicy food. So we are getting engaged with the city now. Worst comes to worst, we pull him back and heal him up a little bit. I think he'll be fine, though. You really can't overestimate how strong these guys are. He's getting hit on like eight sides, and finally he goes down. That's what it takes to take down an apostle, I guess. They're engaging this one over here because they definitely want him down. There may be losses in the morning war, but victory is assured. I'm glad he survived. We're actually going to be able to heal him up automatically and take new hope. I think. Sounds about right. Alright. So, you know, the Brazilians are really becoming an issue of just, like, blocking my access to places. I don't like losing units at all. So this one, we could make him an expert or heal him and have him survive. So that's what we're going to do. And we'll slam into New Hope again. Hopefully it'll be gone. And we will burn New Hope to the earth. Adios, New Hope. Let's go ahead and give us an adjacency bonus and a flanking bonus. And then just wipe this guy out. They do have Phyraxite up here, but uh, I'm not going to take a bad city just because some Phyraxite. And honestly, the more cities you add that you're not raising are uh, just increasing your costs. So, not worth it in my opinion. Alright, these two tiles I want to definitely make generators on. So, let's go ahead and send these guys out to do that express job. And produce me some glorious generators over here as well. Now, these guys, there's an argument to be made that we probably want them up here invading Kassampatan, given that they did just take out one of our guys in pretty much one turn. Um, that said, I think we can probably hold the line here. And this actually made me realize that we need to be doing airstrikes on this ranged unit here, because there's really no other way that we're going to kill him. Again, we have no access to the Brazilian's territory. It's not... I, don't, I have no clue how they have access, but they do, so... Give him some flanking comrades. And push on up a little bit. We could attack directly. Um, I'm not going to. If they want to suicide that unit, they will. This army kind of needs to be here, though. Just in case the Brazilians get uppity on this border. So we will just put them into defense mode. And clear this miasma. Alright, let's see how this fares. They're definitely going to focus one unit fully. That much is clear. This time, though, I think I think he has a far higher survivability. Um, given that 
he did start out a little more healthy. Oh, wow. Reduced to close to nothing. He could get killed. Yep, he's gonna die. No? Okay, why not? I mean, she's supremacy. We could auto-heal this guy, or we could try to pull him out and have him survive. They have a very powerful guardian in that city, clearly. Nope! And you know, we might want to just trade open borders both ways. With Reggie. That'll help this invasion out a lot. So let's do that before we forget. Deal. Uh, how about open borders, open borders? Sweet! Just like that, I'm not too afraid anymore. Somehow, he didn't level up. So you know, let's try to get him out of the line of fire. Not guaranteed, because I think he can always just be um, invaded upon. One of the other things we might want to do is launch a TACnet hub out over Kesempton. That would actually help us quite a bit. So let's get him out if we can. Um, yeah. Down in the center here. We'll try to do interceptions, but uh, no guarantee, because he's only got two health. A single enemy plane in Kesempton would be enough to take us out. I'm going to just stay here and fortify. Hmm. This battle suit is troublesome. So we will just try to bomb him. Oh, we could intercept and then. No, I don't think it's worth it actually. I'm gonna kill his battle suit. You know what? I am gonna pull at least one of these guys up. And why not take one from here as, all, as well? I don't think the Kavithans are too much of an issue. So in Tiangong, we have a bunch of stuff going on. Um, let's just go ahead and get a Soma Distillery. I want to get our health up. And this can actually launch over Kuyan. Uh, over some of the worst tiles, because honestly the laser comp stats don't actually improve tiles, so it's not worth much of your energy to put them over anything just but the cities. Alright, this one can launch over Gongren. Once again, we want to avoid tiles that we actually care about. Um, hmm. I guess that's probably the best. No, that's... No, none of these are very good angles, to be honest with you. This is probably the best. And lots of stuff to build here. I'm going to go with so many distilleries in a bunch of these places. Civil Crash finally done in Huanlei, which gives us now apt time to build both the Neural Lab and the Organ Printer as we need them. Gong Ren. Finish our Civil Crash here as well, so I think it's probably time to build a Pharma Lab. And yeah, that's going to give us some good health. Tan finished the Auto Plant, so let's go ahead and build an Alloy Foundry, and that'll improve the production even more there. And finally here, it doesn't matter, it's getting burned down in one turn. What we might want to see is, can we sell any buildings? Sell the old Earth Relic, alright. Good energy, why not? And let's start removing this Miasma. And... Healing these guys up, in, while they're in friendly territory. This worker can just die. This one can fortify until healed. And I'm just gonna pull these guys up. I want reinforcements, I'll be honest with you. I don't want this guy to die, because he's almost an expert, and that would be really cool. If they're going to focus this one, it doesn't look like this one's going to die. I think he'll actually get out. Oh, cool. He will live. Nice. Hmm. We need more frontline military units, though. Not good. Let's check the timer. Alright, six minutes. Just like that, we could probably... If we can get him into friendly territory, it'd be better than not. Um, I'm thinking we heal him up for now. Get him to, like, 20, 30, and then try to get him back into friendly territory. While we're doing that, um, I want to actually get some TACnet hubs. 
up if we can. Let's launch this weather controller. Where do we want growth the most? You know, Tiangong would be nice. Alternatively, this growth would hit like four different food sources and give lots and lots of food to Kuyan. We'll do this one. That is just going to improve food so much. And weather controllers are bound. Why not? And here, you know, let's build a TechNet hub. Just one turn. We'll see where we can do with it. Um, hopefully something useful. And let's get this guy's up. Re the reinforcement division. Okay, another bio well or maybe a generator. Let's build a generator, actually. Why not? I mean, with that weather controller, food might not be an issue for a while. And move the rest of these reinforcements up. Here, let's remove the miasma. Eventually, we want to build some stuffs. And get these guys in position. This one, we'll just have them heal up for now. Fortify out. And nothing to shoot on this turn, so we'll just keep our guys fortified and ready. Hmm. Yeah, let's just heal these guys up. Send him. Oh, we can't send him across the river this turn. I guess next turn we'll have to do that. Keep bombarding this one. Oh well, I think he's fine for at least a couple more turns. Nope, no Kavith in war. Quite yet. We have no intention on that. We really just want to keep our men alive. This guy's so close to being an expert, too. Actually, no, he's, is he not a veteran? or? No, he's not a veteran yet. Okay, that's probably why he took so much damage. This one's an expert now. Um, I'm just going to have him keep healing up. They heal up so quick, so why not? We can move him in as well. Try to get these guys back. Uh, this guy can come back as well. He only has 32 health, but he should be fine as we move in our reinforcements. Heralds here can do some serious damage if we need them to. Um, or we could move them up north. I'm thinking as they are here, they're probably good. Let's put them in an air intercept. Uh, I wish we had a forward for them. And where can we deploy? Ooh, that Firaxite is being so helpful. We could deploy right over Kesem Tan. We could probably shoot down that satellite if they have anything to do so. But we have no reason to suppose that they do at the moment. Another thing we could do is over here. Um, but I think Kesem Tan is a better location right now. We will deploy right over Custom Dawn and tempt fate. Uh, they'll have to either shoot it down this turn or uh, bombard. They only get one of the two options, and that really opened up our vision as well. So, keep putting pressure on them. Out here, I think a petrochemical plant would be wise. Um, it's just some good small resources, or we can just go for more neural labs and organ printers. I'm thinking that's probably smart considering we have so much science going on in Gongran and just more to come. I want these guys fully healed before they're deployed. And this guy can finally just begin building a generator like he was intended to. Yeah, they're just keep on bombing the same one. This guy no longer has uh, somebody next to him, so that's no good. Take a bunch of extra damage, but he's still just such a strong unit, so I'm sure it'll be fine. These turn times, though. Ooh, they're hitting us with planes. Let's see how that works. Not too well. Not too well. One thing we could do is try building a CNDR. That could be very... Not a CNDR, what am I saying? Um, a Saber. Sabers could be nice. Um, so much deployment, and it takes forever to get them places without mag rails. But we could reposition a worker army to do that job for us. Nope, we won't do this. Sorry. 
Hopefully in a few turns we get our Soma Distilleries up and health ceases to be an issue. These aliens have now invaded our Fraxite mine. For shame. Have you no shame, alien scum? Another weather controller finished, and let's begin the Soma Distillery here too. Let's launch this guy. Uh, where do we want the extra food? That would be a glorious spot. It's really gonna just increase food yields all around. Vast. I love me for food tiles. Let's just get our reinforcements in. Looks like the time is up though, guys. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.